Yes, my wonderful people, welcome to J Progress Entertainment again, my people. My people, right you now, a woman and over $220,000 to a pastor to get rid of dopey half a hour. I'm going to find out, say, not a thing went wrong with the woman from morning. The pastor not do nothing more than trick the woman and manipulate the woman. <laughs> So all of the church people, we believe every word the pastor say, and we know say enough of the pastor, they are thief and scammer. We don't know hear that story, I hope we don't make no more pastor. Send no group of deacon come out of the yard, come fling ice pound no old stop. I want to curl up and go under the bed. And when you wake up a man, you say, Lord God, the month has stole me up when I fling by me house. How good thing when I come out, I see my yard wet up. Poor you know no say. Pastor send the deacon and them to fling ice for your host tap. For your zinc tap, make you think a dope you fling stone for your host. And take you all of your money and turn you in a baboon. Anyway, if you don't think a lie me and tell, you don't hear the story or you don't care come give you right now. A woman said she was ripped off by her pastor. The woman claimed the minister tricked her into paying him to ward off evil. <laughs> and that with enough of them pastor here, you know. They make you think something wrong with you all when nothing not do you. But enough of them are big time chopper and crook. Fine. A woman is speaking out about a pastor who she claims scammed her out of a hefty sum of money while pretending to help her through a spiritual attack. Oh man, what the fuck? Then your pastor, you are the prophet, you know. Them pastor, you remind me of the one that I'm mob here. We tell the people them say I'm going to sacrifice them and they're going to rebound. You know? <laughs> and people really turn up there the pastor and take their life. Believe what me tell you. This is how people fall for some garbage with them pastor you come with. After confiding in him about her personal struggles, yes man, dop in the panel. The pastor renowned for his intense revivalist ministry. So this a pastor you take all whip and beat out Dopey out of you. If Dopey a hand you, this a pastor you use him whip and beat him out of you in the name of. Alright. So this a, this a woman you say no, this man ya, him well be known as a pastor with serious, a very intense revivalist ministry. So allegedly convinced her that she was under a witchcraft attack and promised to clear her spiritual path for a fee. The pastor now helped her in the name of the Lord, you know. The pastor promised to clear her spiritual path for a little small fee. All right. Trust in his word. The woman handed over more than $220,000 to this thief in pastor. I'm going to later discover that the pastor had exploited her vulnerability and manipulated her fears. As there was nothing wrong with her to begin with. Not a thing wrong with the woman. The pastor tell the woman to end up in the panel. When you see me tell me about some pastor, but it's only because some of the church goers believe in all kind of sitting. The pastor tell the woman, say, Dopey the panar, and he can't get rid of the dopey for a small fee. A big time chopper pastor. Then your pastor, you a real old chopper. Yes, man. The woman say, I was experiencing some things, to be honest with you, based on what persons were saying. Like, you know, yeah, man. Him good and him can take off dopey off a people. <laughs> so if you have a baby cool it up by you, this a pastor, you're the revivalist pastor, yeah. He can beat off the cool it up here for you. 
So everybody has say yes, man. I am the man. That the pastor there, he take off any dope he for you, no matter what them do. Alright? So because me did really in my spiritual problem. That is what happened, but he took advantage of it, she said. I was in a vulnerable state. Right? He claimed someone was working witchcraft on me. And because of my spiritual problem, I believed him. <laughs> But it was all a lie. He ripped me off a huge sum of money. The woman have heard of rave review about the pastor's supposed ability to banish Dopey off of you and send them to another world and solve any spiritual dilemma so any Dopey at all will depend you. Chinese Dopey, Indian Dopey, Coolie Dopey, Nigga Dopey, any dopey them tell the woman say me can guarantee this a pastor ya. This a pastor ya take any dopey ya for you. The woman say yes and this a revivalist ya me a work with. But what he really did was take advantage of my trust and my situation. She was fuming instead of leading people to God. He just leading them straight to his own pockets like many pastors. Oh no know this. Say enough pasta, big time chopper and cook them. Oh, you don't know this all now. Alright. If you want to take dope here for you, you go and go pray to God. Sit down, go down for your knee and read your Bible. Right. The alleged betrayal hit her hard. The woman said. It affected me in a lot of ways. I used to work very hard for my money. And it was very hard for you to be out there working and knowing that you confide in a man. Right? Of God. So he said he's no man of God. He's a criminal. Confide in a man of God that you expect to help you. They scam you and use it against you. The woman shared that after realizing she was being scammed. She spoke, spoke with others who revealed similar experience with the pastor. Who is pastor a big time crook? The pastor said beat up you have a whole for people for your small fee. Fim small fee will be 200,000 and 250,000. And if I cool it up, you can spend up to a million with this pastor. You have to get rid of the cool it up. Worse if I want to be cool it up, why got all two million? You can't stay there. So, anyway, the woman say, all right. Many people say they experience the same thing with this pastor. I am not the first victim, the woman explained. Everyone who deal with him stop going back to his church. Is be a lie them tell people. The woman said determined to expose this, this so-called shepherd of the flock. She insisted on rising awareness to prevent others from falling victim to, to his manipulation. No, you first go to go say up in the pan you. Not that thing no do it. No certain life I take care of you say up in the pan you. These so-called pastors are supposed to be of God. Deliverance and salvation and free. They shouldn't come with price tag. People need to know that there are, there are false prophets out there and they need to be exposed. If you this and know that you're late, lady. Lady, you're late if you just know that. Right? She implores fellow Christian to stay vigilant. Don't be misled by, by false the words or false promises. Protect your spirit and your other and money. She won. But lady, if you never go tell the pastor about doping the pan you, this is a pastor you couldn't take you for menke. Because somehow no believe in too much things. Sometimes some regular things are taking you through life. I want to make people tell you about this and tell you about that. If they not tell you to say a wobia, them say witchcraft, them say dopey, them say bad luck, all different kind of sins. See they know. You make the pastor chop you over 220,000 you can't get him back. The pastor make sure he tell you to send up your aunt you. Me tell you about them pastor you know right now they come to your yard. You are there in your house now hours and night on zinc top roof. Pastor chip off some big block of ice and park up your vehicle. And fling big, big block of ice by your house top. Kill your dead dopey your stone your house. You go to pastor the next day every night pastor dopey your stone me house. And when we go to do a door, see a rock stone in a pastor, pastor say yes. And some serious dopey them there. Me know if you get rid of them. 
Me just need a small fee of 200 or 500,000. And me get rid of them for good. Right? Pastor said, bet say when me do today, you never hear about no dope become stony house again. For you give pastor the 500,000, pastor take the big black eyes, them out of the fridge, put them out of the door, make them melt out. You're done. You come to pastor, you are the best pastor in the world, the dopey them top fling for me house. Look around the back and you see more four bucket of, of water around there. I went big black eyes to my pasta chip up conflict for your house at night time. You no stop me pasta fool you no. Know. That is no problem. You no believe in a God. You no figure believe in a God instead of believe in a man. Don't make no pasta trick you no. Know. When you not go through nothing, you no grab you no know, Bible and go down on your knee and fast and pray. Remember when J Progress tell you that. One J Progress entertainment me people. Believe no man. You not fi ask nobody nothing and nobody not fi tell you nothing. I just one J progress entertainment. Believe the man.